morning, my beautiful friends. I am getting ready to put on my liner here. I just got done cleaning up around the house, which is kind of thrilling when you haven't been able to do it for months. Um, I'm not looking for, I mean, I'm looking forward to when the dogs come back more than you can imagine, but the cleanliness level in this house goes from like an eight to like a negative two when the two shepherds and monkey come back because they go frolic they go frolic outside and then they bring everything back indoors and i have no idea how to keep it clean so the videos are probably just going to get real gross looking i'm sorry guys so i decided i'm gonna stop sitting on the couch like a bum today not that that's all i've been doing but it feels like it sometimes and so i am going to experiment today with my leg with some really really simple exercises um, cause I want to get moving. I can't do too much cause it hurts still, but that's okay. I'll just do as much as I can and pace myself. See what I can come up with. If you have any suggestions, I would love to hear them in the comment section down below. A very serious and important question for you guys. He needs a name and he doesn't have one. And that's just sad, you know? Legs should have names. So I thought of Patrick, but I have a friend named Patrick and I just feel like that'd be weird. So um, I thought of Patrice, I thought of Raphael. I mean, I just don't know, none of them seem to fit him. So if you have any suggestions for our friend here, let me know. Before I forget guys, I forgot to tell you about the design of my leg because um, it's going into like the carbon fiber stage this week. Um, and so you get to put whatever design you want on it. And I'm a creative person, so you think I might actually make it look different, but I decided I want to like rock black carbon fiber. If I'm going to be a robot, I'm going to be a robot. However, I'm going to make the inside white so I can do things like this. The words you see here are apparently stickers, I was told, and so I can like change them out with different sayings. I have tattoos that are like quotes all over me, and so I'm really big on quotes, and so I'm excited to be able to kind of express myself on the inside with things that might encourage me. Oh God. I'm out of breath from like walking around the room twice. This is sad. Okay, so to start my workout, quote unquote, I'm gonna walk back and forth three times across the room and then we're gonna move on to some very basic squats. I tried making it back and forth across the room with just one crutch. I think that's a good way to practice. It was a little too painful for today. Okay, so moving on to squats. Like I told you in a previous video, I was never able to do them properly with my ankle being all messed up. So now I'm really, 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 really going to focus on form, which I mean, the biggest things are making sure that your knees don't go over your toes, that your toes are pointing in the right direction. And uh, I mean, there's probably more things fitness trainers tell me in the comments, but that's basically the most that I know right now. All right, let's give it a shot. I'm not going to attempt hamstring curls. I don't think these are even really hamstring curls, but I mean, it'll help with balance. So let's give this modified hamstring curls a shot. classes when I was a teenager and they used to do something called grapevine. I think that's way too advanced. Let's give it a shot though. All right, I think that was a decent shot for day one of exercising on my new leg. I'm gonna walk a little bit more, get a little bit more used to it, and then make sure I do not do too much because pacing myself is a challenge, but very necessary when learning something new on a newly amputated leg. So I'm gonna walk a little bit more than call it a day for my fake leg, prosthetic leg. For Fred, Raphael, Patrick. I mean, he needs a name, guys. Help me out. See if I can actually squat down to your level. Oh, see how off balance I am? All right, I'm gonna call it a day for now. However, as I take off my leg, come here, guys. Oh, that was not that was not good camera work. I do want to answer a question a lot of people have asked me, and I'll show you the answer too as I take off my leg. This is one of those questions I never would have thought to ask, but apparently a lot of people wonder about because there have been a lot of comments in the comment section about it. All right, all right let's get this puppy off. Um, 
regarding my calf muscle. Um, not the one that's fully still here, the one that was severed and reattached to the front of my leg. I'll show you here in a second. People have wondered if I still have control of my calf muscle or if I can like build it back up or if it's just gonna atrophy or what's gonna happen to it. And if people are easily grossed out, you may not wanna watch this because I can actually still make it move and some people think that's, that's like really weird but I do wanna show you because people are curious. So what happens in amputation is they actually like keep most of your calf muscle but they, like if this was my leg, they essentially like attach the cap muscle around to the front of where they chop your leg in half. Um, that provides padding at the bottom, so the front of my, or the back of my calf muscle is now sort of the bottom and the front half of my leg. Oh man, my leg looks super tiny in the viewfinder. Anyways, so this is um, my calf muscle. This is also my calf muscle up into the front there. And if you watch really closely, I can actually still control it. Super weird, I know guys. It kind of grosses me out too, I'll be totally honest. But, like I said, I can still move it. So that is the answer to that question for everyone who has wondered. Um, that part of my body is actually gonna keep on changing. It's gonna keep shrinking. A lot of what you see is actually still swelling. Some of it is muscle that was still built up, you know, still my calf muscle, but that's gonna continue to atrophy over the next many, many, many years and it's gonna continue shrinking and becoming kind of more rounder in size at the bottom of what is now the end of my leg. Um, and so I will need to continue getting new sockets for my prosthetic leg because the shape will continue to change. And so it's a really um, constantly changing part of my body. I mean, just like any part of our bodies and constantly changing process. So let me know what other questions you have. I honestly don't mind answering them. And I hope you guys don't mind hearing the answers.